Are you looking for a video on problem solving involving division of whole numbers? Then this video is right for you. So, without much further ado, let's begin. Hi, my name is Roel G. Carpio, a math teacher and a coach, and I do math tutorial in my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to present to you problem solving involving division of whole numbers. So how do we solve word problems involving division of whole numbers? Just like any word problem, we solve word problems involving division of whole numbers following George Folia's method. Step 1. Understand. In the understand part, we have to know what is asked and the given facts in the problem. Step 2. Plan. In this step, we have to know the operation or operations to be used. And at the same time, we have to write the number sentence. Step 3. Solve. In this step, we have to show the solutions in solving the number sentence. And finally, we have step 4, check and look back. So in this step, we have to review and check the answer. And we have also to state the complete answer with the unit if necessary. So let us have examples. We have here sample problem number 1. Mr. Arkiza gave his three children money worth 12960 to be shared equally among them. How much did each of them receive? So, first step is for us to understand. So, in this part, we are going to identify what is asked in the problem. So, based on the problem, we have to identify how much did each of them receive. And then next, we have also to identify the given facts. So, we have here 12,960 and we have also 3 children. The next step is for us to plan. We have to identify the operation to be used in order to solve the problem correctly. Since the 12,960 is to be shared equally among three children, so meaning to say, we have to use division. So how are we going to write now our number sentence? So our number sentence is 12,960 divided by 3 is equal to n. So the n is the amount that each child receives. So how are we going now to solve this problem? Our third step is for us to solve. So we are going to find the value of n by dividing 12,960 divided by 3. So 1 divided by 3 cannot be, so we are going to use the first two digits. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 minus 12 is 0, so we don't need to put a 0. Instead, we have to bring down the third digit, which is 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0, so we have to bring down the next digit, which is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Bring down the 0. 0 divided by 3 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. So 0 minus 0 is 0. So the last step is for us to check and look back. So we have to check whether our answer is correct. So in this case, we are going to multiply 4320, which is our quotient, times our divisor. And if the product is equal to our dividend, so meaning to say our answer is correct. So 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. So in other words, since our product is equal to our dividend, so meaning to say our portion is correct. So in other words, that each child receive 4,320 pesos. So let us proceed to our second problem. So we have here, 
Nadia changed her 1,000 peso bill into 20 peso bills. How many 20 peso bills did she receive? So the first step is for us to understand and in this part, we are going to identify what is asked in the problem. So we have to identify the number of 20 peso bills that she received. And the next, we are going to identify the given cuts. So we have 1,000 peso bill. We have also 20 peso bills. Now, the next step is for us to plan. So in this part, we are going to identify the operation to be used since Nadia changed her 1000 peso bill into 20 peso bills so we have to use division so our operation to be used here is division so our number sentence is we have to divide 1000 by 20 is equal to 10 so the end here is the number of 20 peso bills that Nadia received the third step is for us to solve. So we are going to find the value of n by dividing 1,000 by 20. So 1 divided by 20 cannot be, so we have to use the next digit, 10. 10 divided by 20 still cannot be, so we have to use the first three digits to give us 100. So 100 divided by 20 is 5. 5 times 20 is 100. So 100 minus 100 is 0. So we don't need to put 0. Instead, we have to bring down the last digit, which is 0. So 0 divided by 20 is 0. 0 times 20 is 0. So 0 minus 0 is 0. Zero. So let us check our answer. So let us multiply 50 times 20. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 5 is 10. So we have to add our initial products. 0, 0, 0, then bring down to 1. So since our product is equal to our dividend, so meaning to say that our answer is correct, that Nadia received 50 pieces of 20 peso bills in exchange of her 1,000 peso bill. Let's proceed to sample problem number 3. Nestor bought a 25 kilo of rice. If he paid 1,050 pesos, how much was a kilo of rice? So the first step is for us to understand. So in this step, we are going to identify what is asking the problem. So in here, we are going to identify the price of a kilo of rice. And then we are going to identify the given facts. So we have 25 kilos. We have also 1,050 pesos. The next step is for us to plan. So in here, we are going to identify the operation to be used. Since we want to find how much a kilo of rice that Nestor bought, so we have to use division as the operation. So for our number sentence, we have 1,050 divided by 25 is equal to N. And the N here is the price of each kilo of rice. So for our next step, we have to solve our given number sentence. So we have to divide 1050 by 25. So 1 divided by 25 cannot be. 10 divided by 25 still cannot be. So we have to use the first three digits to give us 105 divided by 25. We have 4. 4 times 25 is 100. 5 minus 0 is 5. And then 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. We don't need to put the zeros before the 5. Instead, we have to bring down the last digit which is 0. So 50 divided by 25 is 2. 2 times 25 is 50. So 50 minus 50 is 0. So let's check whether our answer is correct by multiplying our quotient which is 42 by the divisor which is 25. So 5 times 2 is 10, regroup 1. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1 is 21. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 
we have to add our initial products. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 1 is 5. 8 plus 2 is 10. So since our product is the same as our dividend, so meaning to say our answer is correct, that a kilo of rice was 42 pesos. So there you have it, how to solve word problems involving division of whole numbers. I hope that you have learned and enjoyed watching this video. See you again in my next video. Thank you.